Hello everybody and welcome to a Cons of Tarkir booster box opening. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. No need to waste time. Of course we're hoping to see fetch lands in vast quantities and all that. I didn't uh, open any boxes of Theros, or rather Born of the Gods, or Journey of the Mix, or M15. Uh, not a lot in the sets really interested me. I've been primarily playing Modern for the past many months. Uh, so obviously seeing Fetchlands get reprinted is pretty exciting. And let's uh, go ahead and get ourselves started here. I will skip past the commons and go straight to the uncommons and hopefully excellent rares. We have a Bellowing Saddle Brute, Abs and Falconer, a Windstorm, and our first rare is Flying Crane Technique with a Foil Chief of the Scale. Alright, so not the greatest start, but hey, we can hopefully do better. And we have Swarm of Bloodflies, Horde Ambusher, Heir of the Wilds, and High Sentinels of Arashin. Had that guy in one of my pre-releases, he was insane. Uh, not very good when you're just cracking packs. So. Okay. Oop, well I already saw the rare slot and it's a good one. Uh, we have a Winter Flame, a Become Immense, a Water Whirl, and Sarkon the Dragon Speaker. Alright, I'm liking where this is going a little bit more now. So, one of the better mythics in the set for our first. Pretty decent start. Alright, and let's see... Briber's Purse, Seeker of the Way, uh, Frontier Bivouac, I think I'm saying that right, and an Ankle Shanker. Got Venerable Lamasu, uh, Soul Tie Flayer, Jeskai Elder, and a Herald of Anafenza. There are a few things in the common and uncommon slots that I'm going to be looking for for standard. I'm going to be playing GP Los Angeles because that's kind of in the backyard, but I'll go through that later off camera. No need to waste your time. We have in the uncommons a Chief of the Edge, Abzan Charm, Witness of the Ages, and our rare is a Necropolis Fiend. Alright, and we have. Dazzling Ramparts, Cranial Archive, Sultai Charm, and a Rakshasa Death Dealer. Alright, no fetch lanes yet, but we've still got some time. We have Kintry Invocation, Incremental Growth, Water Whirl, and Altar of the Brood. And Mardu Heart Piercer, Teamer Charm, Heart Piercer Bow, and Trap Essence. I can have these in the frame here. I apologize for that. Didn't realize it was 
sitting way out of sight. A Goblin Slide, Ruthless Ripper, Seeker of the Way, and Utter End. Hordling Outburst, Briber's Purse, Windstorm, and a Flooded Strand. All right. That's actually my second one. I acquired one during the pre-release. Uh, actually, I opened a Delta, but I traded it for and some other stuff for a Strand and some other stuff. Uh, got a friend who needed the Black Fetches, and I'm going to want to get all of them eventually anyway, so... That makes two flooded strands now. So here we have Blinding Spray, Seek the Horizon, Horde Ambusher, and Dragon Style Twins. Oh, Treasure Cruise, there's one I'm going to want to try out at some point in Modern. Maybe not good, probably not good, but hey, we'll see. River Wheel Aerialists. Mardu Charm, Nomad Outpost, and Howl of the Horde. I'm going to set that Nomad Outpost aside, and that Mardu Charm, because I probably need them for standard. Alright, starting in on our second row here. River Wheel Aerialists, Ride Down, Murderous Cut, that's a good one, and Trail of Mystery with a foil debilitating injury. These cons packs seem actually a little bit harder to open than when they first switched over to the, the easier packaging with like the Return to Ravnica packs. Uh, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Uh, Stubborn Denial, Ruthless Ripper, Warden of the Eye, and Villainous Wealth. Alright, we have a Chief of the Scale, Opulent Palace, Nomad Outpost, and a Butcher of the Horde. This is one of the rares that I wanted to see, because he is uh, clearly very powerful, and he's in kind of the one of the more obvious new standard decks, uh, which is one of the ones that I'm going to be playing. Or the one that I'm planning to be playing. Alright, we've got Burn Away, Quiet Contemplation, Raider Spoils, and an Avalanche Tusker. Zen Battle Priest, Kermag Swift Wing, Death Frenzy, and Icy Blast. We have a Blinding Spray, Karu Bloodsucker, Ice Feather Asian, Avon, not Asian, and Retribution of the Ancients. Nightblade, Monastery Swift Spear, Sultai Soothsayer, and another Dragon Style Twins. Uh, not exciting. As much as I like Double Strike, it's just costing five doesn't seem great. Now we have a Scion of Glaciers, Become Immense, Suspension Field, and a Wingmate Rock. All right, that's a pretty good one. And a foil Highland game. All right. Roar of Challenge, High Spire Mantis, Mardu Rough Rider, 
and a siege rhino with a foil dead drop. Siege Rhino, also one of the probably more constructed worthy of the rares. We have a Chief of the Scale, Mystic Monastery, Dragon's Eye Savants, and a Teamer Ascendancy, and a Foil Polluted Delta. Alright, so that is gorgeous. And uh, we're doing pretty good in this box now. Uh, and I did not bring my sleeves over here, so I'm going to have to sit unsleeved for a moment, but alright, Foil Delta. Now, we could pretty much pull nothing in the rest of the box, and I would still be relatively happy. Uh, and by relatively, I mean very. So we have a Swarm of Bloodflies, Abzan Falconer, a Despise, and a Surak Dragon Claw. I think it's still worth like 10 bucks right now. Right now being actually release night, if you're watching this at some point in the future. Uh, I have had before people kind of wonder why I talk about things being valuable that no longer are when they're watching a video, you know, six months after a set came out. Uh, so I'm basing my excitement, or lack thereof, on current value. Uh, Mardu Blazebringer, Sandsteep Citadel, Set Adrift, and another Altar of the Brood. All right, we're over in our third uh, column here. We have Arc Lightning, Warname Aspirant, that's a good one, Dead Drop, and another Polluted Delta. All right, so this, this is pretty good. We've gotten three fetches, all of them blue, uh, which is about the best case you can ask for, apart from one of them being a foil which we also got. And here we have Mardu Blazebringer, Monastery Swift Spear, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, and a Sagu Mauler. I think that's worth something too. It's a pretty good card. I think it probably goes in that blue-black, or that bug kind of deck that's evolving from the, the Block Pro Tour deck. And we have here Hordling Outburst, Jeskai Charm, Sultai Soothsayer, and another Flooded Strand. Alright, so two strands and two deltas in a box. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Alright, we have Timely Hordemate, Seek the Horizon, Set Adrift, and a mythic, see the unwritten. Uh, I don't really know if that card is good or not, but we'll probably find out. And a foil war behemoth. Yeah, after seeing that video uh, from the guys who pulled, you know, three foil bloodstained wires and four polluted deltas in the box, I was kind of worried that mine could come nowhere close to that, but. Uh, we're not there yet, but I am already happy with this box. Uh, Master the Way, Pine Walker, Take Up Arms, and a Mantis Rider. Alright, here we have Burn Away, Armament Core, Tusk Guard Captain, and a Jeering Instigator. Alright, we have five packs left, including this one. A Dragon Grip, Mardu Charm, Murderous Cut, and a Crackling Doom. That's a good one. And one that I want for standard. So four to go. A Brave the Sands, this card was actually very good in the pre-release too. Uh, Jeskai Elder, Tusk Guard Captain, and a Ghost Fire Blade.
Alright, Stubborn Denial, Abzan Charm, Frontier Bivouac, and a Grim Haruspex, which I think I said correctly. I think that card is probably good. And we have a Chief of the Edge, Secret Plans, Witness of the Ages, and a Jeskai Ascendancy. That's actually my third one of those. And a Foil Mardu War Shrieker. And the last pack. And we have a Keru or Venerable Lamasu, Keru Bloodsucker, Teamer Charger, an Abzan Ascendancy, and a Foil Frontier Bivouac. Alright, I'm going to pause this for a moment and we'll uh, recap the rares that we got. Alright, and I am back. I've done some sleeving. And let's uh, recap the rares that we got out of this box. We had a Ghost Fireblade, Altar of the Brood, Dragon Style Twins, Retribution of the Ancients, Icy Blast, Avalanche Tusker, Trail of Mystery, Howl of the Horde, Dragon Style Twins again, Trap Essence, Altar of the Brood, Necropolis Fiend, Herald of Anafenza, Ankle Shanker, High Sentinels of Arashin, Flying Crane Technique, and now we're getting into the things that have uh, constructed playability slash maybe some value. Uh, Utter End, uh, Rakshasa Death Dealer, uh, Jeering Instigator, maybe, uh, Villainous Wealth, maybe, See the Unwritten, maybe, Crackling Doom, uh, Sagu Mauler, Serac Dragon Claw, uh, Sarkon the Dragon Speaker, Wingmate Rock, uh, Butcher of the Horde, Siege Rhino, Mantis Rider, Jeskai Ascendancy, Grim Haruspex, Abzan Ascendancy, and then two Flooded Strands? Or, sorry, two Flooded Strands in the box, one of those I had from the pre-release, a Polluted Delta, and our Foil Polluted Delta. And uh, all in all, pretty good box, and pretty happy with what we've got here, and uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.